hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always stopping by in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful basket with you so without wasting much of our time please like this video share subscribe and let's get started So for this video, you will need a yoke pattern and this my yoke pattern, it has the joining allowance for the shoulder and also the joining allowance to the lower part of my dress. So I'll just go ahead now and make my shoulders loop. So I measured 3 inches over there, then I went down by 1 inch over here. So I'll just connect. So this is my shoulders loop. Then the next thing I will do now is to draw my neckline. So for this tutorial, I'll be using a U neckline. So I measured 5 inches over there by 3.5 inches and I'll be connecting it. So after connecting it, you cut out your neckline and also you cut out your shoulder slope. So after that, you open up your yoke like this. Then it's time to draw our lines. So now I'm starting with this first line, which is not straight. It's like a parallel line. It's not a straight line. So from that line, you measure one inch, one inch or one, one and quarter inch. So now you just keep measuring the same measurement over and over again. So for me, my my french curve has this measurement already on it so i'm just going ahead to use the, me the measurement so if you have a ruler that already has the measurement just keep placing the ruler and make sure you keep ruling so now for the other side you draw a line that is perpendicular to the line you've drawn that is a line that cannot cannot meet the other line so you just draw the perpendicular line then you do the same by measuring the one inch or one quarter inch depending on the measurement you use then you keep drawing the line just like that so you keep drawing the line until you get to the last part over here so after drawing the line this is what it will look like and when you measure each box it is one inch one by one inch that is each box there is a square that is all sides are equal then you cut out this your ankara your ankara fabric or you can use plain material anyhow so the measurement is one and three quarter inch is almost two inches then i will sew what I want to achieve from this is just to get a half inch wide strap, half inch wide. So this is it. After ironing, this is what I have. Now it's time to place our strap on our pattern. So the method I use is to place the pattern and the strap after the line I've drawn. So make sure that when you are placing it, that is every other line too, you place it after the line so that everything can be equal. So in case you want to put a net at the background of your baskets with yoke so you just place the net on the pattern then you place the strap on it then you sew so it's just easy just like that but for this i won't be putting a net at the background so now i'll just place this and i will take it to my sewing machine and i will start sewing so this is it then this is the first this is the first line that i'm sewing So you just sew at the middle of the strap then you trim it out then you continue like that until you finish sewing everything make sure you are careful with the sewing because the pattern can just by mistake tear and if it tear it can affect the whole thing so just make sure you take it gently while sewing because you know the sewing will cut out the pattern so you have to be gentle with it so that 
so that everything you've been sewing will not just be in vain so you keep sewing this until you get to the last line so this is the last line over here and i'll just do the same for it as you can see i'm placing my strap after the line and i make sure that everything follow the same pattern that is the same way so with that the lines can be equal so this is the other part of it then you just sew the same way you sew the same way you sew the first part then you take it easy to so that the pattern will not the pattern paper will not tear before you finish sewing everything So if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel if you haven't liked this video if you haven't commented if you haven't shared with your friend please just do that now thank you so when you feel the other part is not convenient for you you can start from the other side So you keep sewing so gently so this is it after sewing so i'll just i cut out a tiny strap just to turn out my my neckline and please note the pattern paper is still there the pattern paper is still there so that i can know the neckline so i'm just sewing with the pattern paper and the basket weave that i've made on the paper so you just turn out your neckline with the same angara so that everything can blend. Then before sewing in so that paper will not get stuck inside the, the piping. So you can just remove the paper. I'm just trying to remove all the paper here. Then you just go ahead and just pipe your neckline. Just the normal way you pipe the neckline. Just go ahead and do the same. Please, if you are watching up to this extent and you've not liked this video, please kindly like this video. Please comment, please share with your friend. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that now. Please, thank you. So this is what it looks like after sewing and after piping the neckline. So the next thing to do now is just to remove all this pattern paper one after the other it is not hard to remove at all because it is very easy to remove you just need time then you just keep removing it square by square you keep removing it so after removing it this is what it looks like and as you can see it is very fine so in case you don't want to do this straight yoke design, you can do a sweetheart neckline or any neckline of your choice. You can even do this half neckline. It's still the same method in as much as you have your yoke pattern available. You just sew just like that and you make sure everything looks like a basket weave. So this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.